So I'm in a 2001 uh, C5 uh, Z06 and uh, my check engine light is not coming on. So I need to replace that. And also a very notorious problem is the, uh, the light in the HVAC controls is not working anymore. So I need to be able to get to those. To get to those, gotta take out the trim pieces here go around that and then some other trim pieces as well starting out with this center console to get this out all you're gonna really need is a 10 millimeter socket and a t15 torx there are if your car had them mine did not when I bought it but there are two like plastic pieces that cover this you take that off then you take out the 10 millimeter sockets that are there once you have those out uh, I'm gonna come in here and this pops up for I need a screwdriver, but mine's been taken out a lot apparently. Um, so you pop that up, disconnect the electrical connectors that are on there, and then there are two more uh, 10 millimeter uh, nuts there. Also need to remove three T15 Torx. One is right there next to the uh, cigarette lighter, and then I can get underneath the light. This is where the ashtray goes. So you take out your ashtray and there's another one behind there. And the last one, the third one, is behind the little plastic piece that sits in here and you can kind of see it right there. So I'm going to take those, uh, those three torques, the T15 torques, as well as the four uh, 10 millimeter bolts and uh, pull these out So now I got the three bolts and or four bolts and the three screws taken out uh, I'm just gonna pull this back don't need to completely take it out. Just need to slide it back here once that slid back Can go ahead and take out the uh, This one actually before that really should take out this which will kind of slide through so I'll kind of bend that through and then this just gently pulls back work the uh, shifter boot through that little bit of a hole there and Don't pull it all the way out because you need to disconnect disconnect the cigarette lighter. And that's it. Slide that out. Disconnect the uh, the cigarette lighter from the back of the cigarette lighter. And now this panel is open. All right. Once you have the center console out. Then, um, next thing that's kind of be in the way is uh, this little panel here. So, you need to remove this. There's a Torx 15 behind there. You can use a flathead screwdriver or I use a, an actual trim removal tool. So that way I'm not uh, scratching my interior. But once that's out, kind of see it somewhat. There's, it's right, there it is, right there. That's the Torx 15. You gotta get that taken out. Um, Remove your trunk button, set that aside, and then you just take out that and go for the next. All right, once you have that Torx taken out, then this, there's a compression coupler that's in there. I'm gonna take that out. I think this could just come out by hand. Try and do this one-handed. There it goes. So you can get that popped out. And then there's another one down here. So those things that just made the noise, there's right there and right there. And they just pop into the dash. And then once you have that out, this comes off. Just the coil just comes out of the way. And this also just presses in here. So now this whole piece will essentially 
fall down, but don't let it because this connector here still needs to be disconnected. So hold it with my foot. This connector right here, which I'm not going to be able to get with one hand. Nope. So get that connector out. And then once that's out, then we can um, we, we can get the cluster out by just taking out this side and lifting it up and then the cluster slides out in a matter of speaking. We'll get there. Screws, but you need to take off this, um, this A pillar here. There is a little, come on camera. There's a little pin that you have to pull out here, a little plastic retainer. You just make sure that is out of the of the plastic of this and then up here on the a pillar you just gently I'm not known for being the gentlest pop that down and then the whole thing comes out so and then so you got the two t15 torques under here there's a six millimeter there or six or seven there's another six or seven there and a six or seven millimeter there as well. And then, then this can just bend up slightly and you can start trying to pull the, um, the dash out. And you can already see it's kind of, well, it's kind of loose already. Anyway, I'm gonna take that last bolt out and uh, then start on this uh, uh, gauge cluster. All right, now we have the bottom piece off. Now we're gonna loosen up this top piece here so that way the gauge, 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 ugh, gauge cluster can come out. Uh, there are two bolts to do this. There's one here and one there. Now it's probably a six millimeter but uh, the smallest I had in my little kit right next to me was a seven. So those come out with, uh, they work on a seven millimeter but you can probably get them on a six. And then the only other thing is two more Torx 15s. There's one here and one there, which is kind of hard to see, but uh, they're straight up. So Torx 15s, there's two of them, one there, one there, and then a seven or six, and a seven or six there as well. Take those out, then we can just gently pull up on, uh, on that and pull out the uh, gauge cluster. Once you have the A-pillar and the uh, dash is loose, now you can start removing the uh, gauge cluster itself. To do that, you'll need a uh, six or seven millimeter. There's one bolt there, and the other one. Is right, ooh, right there. So I'm gonna get those two out, and that should be it. All right, we're gonna try to get this in its entirety. Got the two uh, six millimeter bolts from the bottom. Dash is now loose. So when you have it, get it to about this far, there is a, there's a connector right there, which is this connector. And when it's in there, it's going to be at that angle. It, you just have to pull on it. <laughs> so this little clip just push that in I wiggled it back and forth until it finally popped out so so once you have the dash to that far then it should just come right out I'm about to dash the gauge cluster so all right well gauge clusters out next need to um, replace the uh, what do you want to call that my check engine light, or bulb for the check engine light. 
All right, now I'm going to uh, get at the bulbs. Now you're supposed to take off this cover, these, and this cover here, which expose the bottom of the PCB here. So it looks like you can disconnect these ribbon cables, but I'm not going to even try. And what I'm after is these here. So I'm going to put that back down. And so I got the new bulbs. These little tiny things. And uh, I've already gone through and replaced them. They're pretty simple. Of course, now that I pop this back on. Um, so you just turn the, turn your little bulbs and come out. They're kind of a pain in the butt to pull, pull out of these little bases. And then put back in, these are T5s. Um, I'll put a link in the description for when I got it from Amazon. Um, got a whole bunch of them. Uh, but they're T5 bulbs. And uh, yeah, they just they pull out of here, push a new one in. They're kind of hard to get out, so you're just going to be tempted, you know, be careful. Put them in there and uh, turn them. I replaced all of them uh, just because I'm in here. But. You know, do what you want. And this one goes here. All right, I finished putting these four screws in. Now I'm going to test it out, put it in the car. All right, I'm getting ready to put this thing in to try it. And I forgot when I was over there on the bench, this cable here, uh, it, did not, it plugs into the little, uh, the buttons that you press. And it's a little dark in here. The little buttons that you press. Uh, I forgot that routes up and plugs in up here on the back of this, uh, this unit. And then there's one on the other side that plugs in here, comes down and plugs into where the car has a dimmer. Now mine does not have the heads up display because you know, the ZS6 does not have it, or this the ZS6 does not have it, but there's a heads up display controller that's there that I don't have. And that goes to a plug here, which I also don't have to plug in. So now I'm gonna try to squeeze this back in here. is perfect so you just got to mess with it a lot well it's 102 outside the shop and it's like 90 something in the shop really wishing I had air conditioning so uh, I just want to make sure this is gonna work I'm gonna check one more time to make sure all my all the gauge lights come on I got, oh crap I have turned on every dar darn signal there is but my check engine light now does things And one other thing that I was working on is uh, by soldering that, my lights work again. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be in this video or another separate video, but I took this unit out and soldered some, uh, some stuff in there and I have my lights back. That is awesome. So it's like a week later and everything's still working like it should. In my dash lights, got everything put back together. Um, if you found this helpful, uh, consider giving like a thumbs up. Uh, 
leave a comment or something if you have a question and uh, really think I need to make my videos a little better, get better at editing, but uh, I hope this was useful to somebody and uh, thanks for watching. It's uh, time to get back to work. See you.